From mid-century to contemporary, public to private, we're in search of the very best in art. Homes, happenings, stores, restaurants and people. Things that defy categories. The perpetual freshness and cool of modern never ceases to captivate us. Join us for another edition of Modern Dallas TV to discover what's going on and where in the modern world. Hi, I'm Empress. And I'm Micah Gilbert, the geologist and gemologist at Impressive Geodesigns. We present the finest natural decor with high quality minerals, corals, and other specimens from all over the world. We provide a variety of functional pieces, including lamps, tables, bowls, and other custom projects. Share in the beauty and wonder of these stunning gems and natural works of art. Visit us at ImpressiveGeodesigns.com. Modern Dallas Real Estate this week is at 5238 Edmondson Avenue, located in Mockingbird Park, close to Inwood Road and Mockingbird Lane. This mid-century modern, built in the 50s and updated in the early 2000s, is a beautifully landscaped home with light infused by casement windows and skylights throughout. The open living and dining room opens onto a zen-like brick wall patio and the updated bright kitchen is open to a paneled family room with stacked stone fireplace all overlooking a new patio and lush backyard. Two stylish bedrooms with exceptional wallpaper accents complete the first floor and steps down from the kitchen is the fourth bedroom, playroom and laundry room. A modern addition to the home houses the master suite with vaulted ceiling and a wall of windows making one feel like they're in a chic tree house. Also en suite is a study, office with balcony, custom walk-in closet and large spa, both surrounded in light through frosted glass. Close to Dallas Love Field, the medical center, as well as shopping at Highland Park Village and Oak Lawn, the house is close to downtown as well. For more information, contact Faisal Halum of Briggs Freeman Sotheby's International Realty. The home is listed for $1,199,000 and you can visit Faisal's website at FaisalHaloom.com or BriggsFreeman.com and if you would like to see all the modern listings in Dallas visit our website at ModernDallas.net Hello, I'm Micah Gilbert, the geologist and gemologist at Impressive Geodesigns. I'd like to share with you some of my favorite black gemstones. I love the magnificent towers of black tourmaline and the stunning quartz clusters with gemmy crystals. We have a special selection of obsidian, including bowls, points, spheres, and a variety of sculptures with unusual sheens and subtle colorations. Visit us at ImpressiveGeodesigns.com. Modern Dallas Art this week is at RO2 Art. We're here a little sooner than we normally are. This is a couple of three or four weeks later, but we're here because this is chaos. Yeah, chaos is amazing. And it's our, uh, it's our annual small work show. We've done this every summer now for five years. And it's just, it's a party, it's an explosion. It's, um, it's an invitational show where we invite everybody that we enjoy working with, that we've worked with over the last five years, um, who's on our roster, um, who visits the gallery frequently, and we try to figure out who's gonna, you know, how we're gonna mix everything up and make it just look phenomenal together. So it's, it's all friends, it's all great artists. Um, this year we've invited 140 artists to take part, and uh, in that group you've got um, a little bit of everybody, and painting, and sculpture, and drawing, and um, Jewelry, you, you name it. Um, all together, about 360 artists or 360 pieces. The rule was that each artist could bring between two and four pieces, up to 10 inches each, and we wouldn't know until they got here whether it was two or four, or three or whatever. Which is this game that we play with ourselves. Not sure why, but the magic of the show is that um, 
my mother, Susan Roth Romans, who curates and co-owns the gallery, um, she has this knack for putting things on the wall and making these conversations. And it's a long process. We start early Monday, and we're not done hanging until probably late on Friday because things are going up one by one, maybe, oh, that's it, you know. And, and then gradually the walls get filled. So with all this work, there are some standout pieces. They really are. Without I mean, question. Ceramic, photography. Boom and Kim's pieces are amazing. Phenomenal. What are those made up of? Those are made from string. So um, these are an iteration of uh, her seating pieces. They're actually called buddings. And what she does, she takes thousands of uh, threads and um, combines them in different ways to get a gradient. Um, they're just, they're fun, they're playful, they're substantial for such small pieces. And um, it's a good entry point for Boomin. Uh, typically her work is, you know, in the, in the thousands and here you've got something for $140 you can take home and put in that really special spot on your wall. Another great artist, Julian Pinkston. Julian Pinkston, yeah, he's fantastic. Julian brought four new pieces from Houston. Um, there, he just, he loves paint and he will um, just compound it on top of each other and, and just play around with it, maybe put it on nails and all, all kinds of little things to get it to stick out from, from its core and until it's this, this thing. Um, sometimes it's a circle, sometimes it's just like a, a big rock that looks like kryptonite or something. And lastly, the one piece that always fascinates me every time I come in is Charles Clary's work. Oh, fa fantastic. Charles is um, here from South Carolina. Um, we found him earlier this year, and every time he sent a piece, we're just thrilled. Um, they're cut paper, hand-cut paper. He will uh, combine um, up to 15, 30, 80 sheets of paper and just have these journeys with his, his scalpel and, and bridges and, and all of this stuff. And then they're, they're combined with, with pieces of glue. And um, I've, I've watched videos of how it's done, but I still can't believe it. Um, they're beautiful pieces, um, just, you know, magical in a way. And we've got three really nice sized pieces at $175. It's, it's just, it's crazy. Great. And one of the beautiful things, he accents them with great frames. He does. Um, he finds those frames. He loves to find a really unique frame and um, add that kind of Baroque feel to it. There's just an unbelievable amount of work. Tell us how people can find you, find the show, find the gallery. Easy, okay. So the show is open through um, August 19th, so it's a long show, and we're open Tuesday through Saturday from noon to five. We'll also be here for gallery day and for the CAD happy hour in August. And uh, we're on Artsy as well, so you can preview the show at artsy.net before you come and, and stake out your finds. Um, but like I said, uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 12 to 5, we're at 1501 South Irve in the Cedars, just a few blocks south of downtown across from Old Heritage Park. And online? Online, row2art.com, R-O-2-art.com. And if you want to see all the art listings in Dallas, visit our website at moderndallas.net and view the arts page. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you. Appreciate it. The modern lifestyle begins in the home, and you'll find a range of unique living spaces across Dallas's most desirable neighborhoods. Start your search by meeting one of these modern realtors. Poget began his career with a degree in architecture, followed by years of interior design work, including the interior design of several luxury high-rises and commissions for clients' dream homes. Poget's distinct background makes real estate a natural fit. Modern Dallas this week is here at North Park Center and we're here to see this wonderful parade of playhouses and I'm here with Kathleen LaBelle, the director of Dallas Casa. Kathleen, you know, these playhouses are so important for North Park and the people visiting, but there's a whole other reason for having these playhouses here. Tell us a little bit about it. Absolutely. So the parade of playhouses is actually the event from our entire year that raises the most awareness of the needs of children in foster care. And so the fact that it's a playhouse event really is sending the message that every child deserves a safe home. 
And so what Dallas CASA does, Court Appointed Special Advocates, is that we train and supervise and support volunteer advocates who come in from the community and are willing to stand up and be champions for children who are in the child welfare system. So Kathleen, there are 11 beautiful homes. Yes, they're, <laughs> they're, they're amazing houses. and they're, they're ready to be moved into. <laughs> yes. for, for all these kids and maybe adults. But there, there are three for me that come to mind. Obviously this one by Bob Borson, Game Changer, and the one that won the uh, International Award. Yes. Tell us a little bit about each one and the people involved in creating these pieces. Sure. So we're standing in front of Bob Borson's house, Grasshopper, and Bob is really the heart and soul of this event. He runs the international competition off of his blog, Life of an Architect, and it attracts entries from all over the world. And so this is Bob's own design. And, um, but he really does so much more beyond his one um, awesome house every year. So the one that won the international competition is called Playhouse Rock. I love this house. Um, it is uh, very much about music. The floor is a xylophone. Um, but what I really love about it, it was um, designed by an uh, architect in London. Uh, but then it came here and we have a professional builder involved um, and AF and uh, but we also had volunteers help build this house. So we have um, one of our volunteer advocates was building the house, was really kind of the construction manager. And then um, we had some of our summer interns painting, sanding. Our CFO was sanding that house being built. So I love that it's a really a community house and just such a great theme. But then you get to Game Changer. And, and this is where it really is extraordinary, the space we're in. What makes this event in its 22nd year is North Park Center because you're in a gallery and you're surrounded by beautiful art. Well, Game Changer, I think more than any of the playhouses this year, really complements and, and blends so well with the sculptures that it's in the background as you look at Game Changer. So that's the, the Harmon House. Um, every year they do an incredible job and uh, it's always just um, so creative. And every one of these playhouses, it, it brings kids imagination to play and that's what that's what I love about how different do you see how different yeah, and distinct each one is and that's obviously the importance making sure kids get the opportunity that people in most situations just take for granted it's a wonderful program you're involved with it's great for the community how can they find more about what Dallas Casa is about so our website is dallascasa.org and we run an information session once a week um, that lets you know what is really involved in being a volunteer advocate. How much time does it take? What is the training like? So we want you to know all about the role so you know if it's a good fit. Um, our advocates come in and tell us that they were born to do this. And they're from all different backgrounds. You don't need a legal background. You don't need social work experience. Um, what you need is a huge heart. Uh, you need uh, patience because the child welfare system is, uh, can be difficult, it can be slow, um, and you really are, are working within that, within that system to make sure that the child is less alone and feels like they have a voice in what is a very complicated process. And so what you're, you're trying to instill in a child is, what does it look like to have a reliable adult in my life? What, is the, uh, what does it feel like to know that you're gonna show up when you say you do? I mean, that's what's so important about the, uh, the role of the volunteer advocate. There are many different strangers coming in and out of a child's life when they come into foster care because of abuse or neglect. But that one CASA volunteer is that constant, the one they anticipate coming and, and feel like really has their entire attention. Um, and I think, you know, they're, they're telling our judges, here are the individual circumstances of this child, this one child. This is what this child needs to begin to heal from, from the trauma, from their history. And then trying to tell the child, you know, you're not defined by that history. Um, I have high expectations of, of what your future is going to be like. So with that being said, I know people are going to look at these great playhouses. How do they get to take one home? Well, first of all, we're, we're open till the 23rd, July 23rd. So come out to North Park 
and uh, we have ticket tables set up all along the way. But you also, if you can't get in before we have our drawing on the 23rd, please go online at dallascasa.org and you can pick you can uh, purchase a ticket online, select which playhouse you'd like to take a chance on. Well, we appreciate you doing great work, and we look forward to the 23rd year next year. Fantastic. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV, we cover local modern events and the art scene. Check out the calendar and the arts page on our website at moderndallas.net. There are always great events from the Dallas Architecture Forum, Preservation Dallas, and the Dallas Center for Architecture has great walking tours in downtown Dallas. Open houses every week, always a great selection. You can create your own mini mod home tour and Todd Camplin covers the art scene for us, from art galleries to museums and artists. You can check out his page on the website. And lastly, if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary, home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. For this week, we appreciate you being part of our show. We'll see you later. <laughs>